So could there be a baby on the horizon for Miss Zita in the near future, guys? Well, the ZC Nation family certainly seems to think that that is a very real possibility. And if you want to know all the juicy details, then you need to head over to ZetaConfidential.com. Make sure you are subscribed so you can be a part of this conversation and all the other great conversations that we're having over there. And just be a part of a beautiful network and support system of beautiful people who are just here to uplift one another, okay, and connect. And make sure you are subscribed to the channel because we are going to be breaking down the blog and doing takeaways every week of all the topics that happen. So let's get into this week's, okay, because we're going to be talking about babies and planning and can you plan? What does that look like? And so I'm going to tell my story and I would love to hear from you ladies kind of what, you know, what it looks like for you. What were your ideas? What were your thoughts? What were, were you scared? You know, whatever it looked like going in. I, in all full disclosure, because I want to be fair. I will be discussing miscarriage and I never want to be like triggering for anybody. I'm not really going into too much detail, but just in all fairness, if anybody needed to just kind of have a disclaimer, then I wanted to make sure I put it there. Oh, let's talk about love and babies, guys, because I was the person I wanted to plan. I wanted to have this and that. I wanted to have all of it in order. I had, you know, my life in order. But the, I, and what's so funny is that I was never the girl who planned on getting married. Like I was, I was, I'm a tomboy and I just, I never imagined a white dress, that whole shebang. And I, so kids, I never really planned that either. But, um, when my husband and I had our first pregnancy, it was definitely unplanned and we were young and stupid, but not so young that we were too stupid, but we were still young enough to still be stupid, if that makes sense. Um, and so we, uh, I mean, we were ecstatic. I mean, even though it was a shock and you know, it's still stuff we wanted to have in order, but we were really excited. Um, I absolutely adored my doctor when everything was going great. It was going great. And I remember it was one of my, um, the, the last appointment that I went to uh, with my uh, doctor. She told me to come into my next appointment and I would just be meeting with the midwife when we start kind of planning what the hospital would look like and this, all these things. And of course, if you've been pregnant, then you know, you go through, you have whatever conversations you have. And the last thing you do is you get your ultrasound and then you go on your merry way just to make sure everything's okay. And so got the ultrasound done. And of course, you know, everything was not okay. And they couldn't find a heartbeat. And that was devastating in itself. And for a lot of reasons that I'm gonna tell you in another story, but, um, you know, it was tough. And so it was just like, man, you know, you don't think about that a lot of times when you think about pregnancy. And so we decided, well, we're going to try again and we're going to plan and we're going to, um, you know, jump ahead of anything that could possibly happen or whichever. And we wound up getting pregnant, actually finding out we were pregnant on the day that our daughter would have been born. So, of course, you know, I felt so connected to that and such a signal. So we were even having complications then. And my husband was terrified. I mean, in tears. I mean, it was really a difficult time. And so I thought, well... Look, there's everything's going to be okay. There's no way we would find out on the day that our daughter would have been born that everything went, you know, like, no, like, we're good. And, you know, we weren't. So we did uh, miscarry then. But I I was, I mean, I was, I was devastated. I'm not going to tell you about no positivity in this moment. Y'all know, <laughs> like, I try to walk in positivity, but I was a wreck. I was, I was just devastated. And I was like, you know, I'm going to plan. I'm going to plan. We're going to do that. This is not... You know, and I almost to the point where I got obsessive and nothing happened. I didn't get pregnant. And finally, I just remember waking up one day and I realized how much it was consuming me. And then I thought back to just how my husband and I met, like, and how unorthodox in some ways that was and how it just happened and how just, I mean, it was not like your typical story. It was like, you know, and so it was just like, you know, but that turned out okay. But you know what you were doing? And I literally, God had to speak to me and just like, you know what you were doing? You were living life and you were being okay. And so I really had to submit to that. Like, okay, like I need to just live and not be consumed. And so it is okay to try. So I'm never not telling anybody not to try. But when it gets to a point where it's consuming you, then we may have a problem because if everything doesn't work out, even if it does, like, you know, you just, you miss so much that is going on around you. And so we got to the point where we were just enjoying one another. And we just, I, I mean, it was just a beautiful time, a magical time. So, and I remember when we found out that I was pregnant with my um, oldest son, I was in shock. 
I mean, I had, like, I was just, because we had not been, you know, planning and doing all the things right, taking this, taking that, whatever. And um, when we found out, it was just such a, a beautiful time. And it was so, it was, again, like, so when you talk about planning or how you can do everything right, like, there, I was able to look back and see that even though everything wasn't perfect, because nothing's ever going to be perfect, guys. But I was able to look back and see that, you know what? Wow, like I needed that growth. I needed that time of growth. And sometimes what I will say is sometimes you think, so even like sometimes you can think that you have everything and you'll be in a place where it's like, okay, well, I'm, per I'm perfectly ready now. And you'll see like when something doesn't go your way, you're able to step back and be like, oh my goodness, I, I didn't have what I thought. And I know sometimes when stuff happens unplanned, it's just like, oh my goodness, I wasn't ready. But you're being prepared and it's forcing you to put your, and it's up to us. Cause when I said you, you're being placed in a situation of discomfort and you know, in order to grow, you got to be uncomfortable sometimes. So it's up to us to make the decisions and to be able to look back and see whatever we're supposed to take away from different situa situations. And I was able to reflect on just how much growth that I had and my husband had in our relationship um, because there were so many forces outside of us. I mean, we had our own growing to do, but there was a lot of external things going on that were out of our control um, that needed to be, you know, kind of mended and needed to be put together a little bit better. And it just, we were able to welcome a baby into peace. And so that was a beautiful thing. And so, of course, you know, like, you know, whether you like, you get a certain age, people ask you, are you, well, when are you going to have babies or what's happening? Or what's the plan? You have one baby. Then the next question is, well, when's the next one? And so we tried our best not like this time. We were like, we're not going to get consumed and trying again. If it happens, it happens. Well, um, you know, there was some stuff in between, but it didn't happen until six years later. <laughs> it didn't happen again until six years later. And I mean, really, like it was completely out of sight, out of mind. Like we had forgotten about it to the point, y'all. And I'm just telling you guys, like <laughs> I was actually, we were actually out at brunch. Uh, we were out at brunch and, it was, and this Georgia heat can get real, but I love to eat outside. Like when it's warm, even when it's too hot, but nonetheless, we're outside eating brunch. Of course, you're not going to have me a little cocktail like out as we're sipping. That's what you do at brunch, right? And I got so sick, but I hadn't really been drinking like that. Like I really kind of just given it up, which is a whole nother story in itself. But I really given it up. But this particular day, I said, oh, I'm going to enjoy myself and have a drink. And I got so sick, but it never registered in my brain pregnancy. I was like, oh my God, look at stupid me. I'm out here drinking in this hot sun about to have a heat stroke because I just start vomiting it was awful and so um some days go by and my period's late again still not thinking pregnancy because y'all it's been six years okay six years and so I'm like okay so I I, I had a pregnancy test laying around like so I took it and actually I forgot I took it and I know like it, it was by the grace of God like I didn't let too much time go by so I would be out the loop but I actually came back like trying to clean up something or whichever um or I needed something and you know whatever in the bathroom and I came back and I was like you know oh my like what I called my husband immediately I was like I am pregnant like and I'll, I mean just complete shock um, but like y'all, like again, divine timing because it happened when it needed to happen. I needed those six years with my sweet boy. Uh, and we had just sold our house when I found out, when I found out I was pregnant, we had just sold our house. So we're moving into a new house. I don't know when you have a child and, and I don't know, everybody, you can let me know whatever your experience is. And when you have a child by themselves for so long, you know, everything is theirs, everything, you know, and not even in a selfish way, but it was just him and my stepson would come like on um, different holiday breaks and things. So for the majority of, time, of the time, it was his space, his room, his this. And so when we found out we were pregnant, I really, I was like, okay, this is a beautiful opportunity for us to go into a new home, a new space, and everybody can grow together. This is us and a new experience together. Um, doesn't mean I didn't have any fears or I, you know, I had a lot of that still going on. So I'm not being unrealistic with you guys, but then also we decided to go into business for ourselves. So and I'm giving you the idea. I'm painting the picture because when we talk about planning, you can only do so much. That's why you just really got to submit. So we decided to go into business for ourselves. I know pregnant. Why in the world would you decide? Look, Hey, stuff happens. Okay. But we decided, you know, we're going to, my husband wanted to walk away from corporate. Let's go into business for ourselves. So we did. And that was November, 2019. 
we planned, so we plan, right? Because when you're planning, you're trying to do all the things that you can do to make sure everything's right. We plan for recession, you know, as you do, like anytime you're doing business models, you have to plan for that kind of stuff. We, there is no way in this world we could have planned for a pandemic, okay? Plan for recession, not pandemic. <sighs> so we were totally prepared for recession in some ways, as much as one could be. Pandemic happens literally the week I give birth to my youngest son the week after everything shuts down so again I could have planned to the high stars had a high heavens but there was no way sometimes life happens and you just gotta go with it but the beautiful thing about children is they just want to be loved they don't care they genuinely don't care it's a learned behavior but you set the tone I mean, and I say this even just as far as like, because for the longest time, people laugh, but I'm I'm not, I, well, I am cheap. I'm cheap. But also I like, I'm a thrifter, but not just from a cheap standpoint. I like the, 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 the surprise factor of when you walk in somewhere, you don't know what you're going to get. And I found so many special, beautiful pieces. But for I say that to say for the longest time, my kids did not know what a toy store was because we only thrifted. Kids break things, you know, they don't play with it. You get it, they don't play with it, they want new things. So I was like, I'm not wasting all my money on this kind of stuff. And so we would go into thrift stores and they would just be so excited. They, you know, they know them by name. They walk right into the back and it's like, you never know what they're going to get. They would never walk in like with something on the brain. Like I have to, I'm going to get this because they didn't know. That's not what they grew up in, but they were perfectly fine with what they grew up in. And it was so special um, to them. Same thing with clothes, the way that kids grow out of clothes. And now we have all these things online where you can buy online, people can ship to you, or you know, you have your local groups. Well, the amazing thing in one of the local groups was I found a mother who had a child around my son's, my oldest son's age, my stepson's age, and her son has Down syndrome. And so she, and she'll, and I don't think she'll be mad at me saying this, but she says she overcompensates because she wants him to feel special because you get made fun of, you get all these things that happen. And so she, she, in her environment that she creates for him, she wants him to feel special. So she has so many clothes, so many like pajamas. And I mean the special kind of pajamas. And anybody with boys know that sometimes while we can find special stuff, it is so much harder to find special stuff for boys. So when you do and luck up and come across a brand or a store or a person, whatever, then you got to stick with it. And so her son sometimes had um problems you know controlling you know urination things like that and so she went like over by so when i she's like well come by like i got so many clothes and so it would be so much brand new stuff with tags just because she was planning ahead in case you know he messed up something that couldn't be saved and so i mean i got so many clothes and because she would buy in advance like that's just her personality and she said she was holding on because she didn't know if she was going to have more children so literally I go to her and I'm able to buy from my oldest my um my middle one and my baby and I've developed a relationship with her over the years now I think it's been like six years where we've been connected and I like she roots for my children like I root for hers like we stay in touch we check one one another um it's just beautiful relationships being built but I say all that to say is just whatever you do, just go into it, be, um, submit to whatever God's will will be. And don't be scared. Like, you know, enjoy the moment. And there's moments of sadness. There's, there can be, there can be some beautiful moments, but there's always purpose in whatever. Don't let it get you so down because you will always come out on the other side if you let yourself. So just know that whatever journey you go on, know that it can be okay. Um, I, cause I literally, y'all, God bless my husband, because like I said, when we were going through, like when we, we bought the businesses, we didn't plan on a pandemic, <sighs> my postpartum, postpartum with no professionals available because of the pandemic and to have my husband dealing with all he was dealing with, we're trying to run businesses and not fully knowing everything and then still having to deal with old crazy me, um, God bless them. But we came out on the other side and it brought us so much closer and it, it opened the door for such real conversations. So again, whatever the journey may be in a motherhood and love or just even on our own self journeys, just allowing yourself to submit and be a part of the journey. Live it. 
um it's okay to be scared but just just be okay with what is um so if you have an unplanned pregnancy y'all like whoever it may be so what it's gonna be okay and, and i believe in whatever decisions you choose to make that's okay too but just again just live in the moment think about what you're doing pray about it meditate and be present and make sure you have that support system make sure you have that support group with whatever decisions you make on those kind of things but again ultimately you got to talk to high power you got to talk to god and you got to talk to yourself sit with yourself and then also look out for that support system you guys let me know what you think on your baby journeys what does that look like um you know were you ready or were you plan do you do you think that you can plan and plan it to perfection because maybe you have a different take from me that's just my little ted talk for the day but i would love to hear some of you guys stories and connect and i look forward to chatting with you guys real soon I hope everybody gets a little bit more rest than I'm seeing. I seem to be getting these holidays, but don't mad. Don't they? I'm, I'm just living in the moment. A little stress, but that's okay. It's good stress as we prepare, prepare for these holidays and get the house ready. But I hope everybody has an amazing week. I cannot wait to chat with you guys real soon. Peace, many blessings. I'll see you guys in the comments.